Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rosquit. On the last episode we went through most of the uh, engineering department to try and find our way to Aubrey. Uh, now we have to dodge a electromagnetic pulse uh, that is destroying this area. Get back in. Now go. Is there safe zones? Stay here. Okay, so yeah, so you have to find little walled in areas. Love the music here. Okay. What's the point of this? The hidey hole? I think it's just the hidey hole. Yeah, it's just another hidey hole. Get out and run. Well done. I'm faster. Get back down. Where's it here? Okay, so the ladder is safe. Okay. Okay, so it's way about here. So I need to go that way. Plus, I need to run down here, but I'm not sure. No, it drops me down, so I might have to run here. Did I fall in the water? I think I fell in the water. Me in the middle of nowhere. Oh, this is hard. Okay, so gimme. stairs. Well, I'm dying a lot here. <laughs> jump that. I 
thought that was safe. So there's little pockets where you can get in and out. And then... Is it over? How should I know? I, I pulled the damn thing. Did it work? Just... Aubrey, Aubrey, how about we finally get off this godforsaken thing? Not a day too soon. Take the metal walkways on the left. They should lead you up here to the control center. I know I've said thank you already, but it will be nice to finally be able to do it in person. On my way, Aubrey. See you in a bit. Metal. Walkways. So, this way? So, was I going the right way? I just can't see. This game is really dark. Uh, go back up. No idea if I'm going the right way. <laughs> Aubrey knows of a shortcut off this thing. Ooh, I don't fancy going back the way I came. Aubrey? Where? Where are you, Aubrey? Let's go! <sighs> Funny if it wasn't goddamn depressive since my transfer from the weather department eight months ago. Maintenance check that didn't need a real severe. Th oh, geez. Okay. Come on, Aubrey. Let's go already. Aubrey? Flipper map of the surgery room where Ada was trapped. Hello! Yep, saw that coming. <laughs> I tried to tell you. I really did. I'm a liar, Rose. I've heard everything, every word, since you came aboard. From your first conversation with Ada, to the last words she ever spoke. I even listened in on your conversation with Aubrey. Nicola. What? It wasn't Tesla's lockdown that was jamming your sister's broadcasts. That was another lie. It was me! Why? Because she took everything from me! 
everything. I had his attention. I had his respect. But she took it all. I used to be someone aboard that ship. But now, now the time has come to take back. Starting with these. If you do this, I will kill you. Is that a promise, Rosie? Scout's honor. <laughs> Cute. You forget that just like I led the exotic energy to the surgery room of your sister, so too am I leading exotic energy to you right here. You better hurry. Those things will be here any minute. Benny here will keep you company. I they play in what was mine. One leaf in, one more out. button. Let me through. Oh. It just wasn't opening. Well. Okay, take two on that. That was just the door not opening. is not helping, but I guess that's the point. Oh, jeez. I'm going as fast as I can. that door? Oh, just kill me. Okay. I didn't know if I could clo somehow close the door behind me. So now the villain has become the hero, and the hero has become the villain. <laughs> I mean, look, we knew the RMC was no American Mensa, but still. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the trophy. The Flowers of Persephone, Chapter 8, but that will be next time. I had a feeling once again that this is very dissimilar to Bioshock but it's very similar in the way that the story is driven so uh, thank you for joining me for another episode of Rosquit and uh, we will continue this in the next episode so see you later everyone <laughs>